got the goods. with another book thrifting video earlier this week we did our second barnes and noble vlog and we talked about how today we were going to ollie's discount store one of you guys told us that your favorite place to book thrift is at ollie's which we had never heard of ollie's before we looked it up and there was one in our area so we decided to go and check it out normally we go to goodwill i feel like they're starting to just have the same, the same books. books so maybe we need to give them a little break and then go check it out in a few months ollie's is a good alternative last night we were looking on tiktok and we saw like always book shopping is a thing and yeah. we never even knew about it we're excited to see what they have hopefully if they have some great stuff we can start going there regularly we have no idea what to expect so i guess we're just gonna take you guys along with us and see what kind of books they have <laughs> did notice that they didn't necessarily have popular books that are trending right now mm -hmm. but they did have a lot of interesting books where like if you read the synopsis they sounded really good whenever we checked goodreads for certain books they always had good reviews overall we were pretty impressed i really liked the layout of the store too mm -hmm. as soon as you walk in it just looks like a bookstore there was a few we already had like my dark vanessa curse you just mm -hmm. talked about it this week yeah i just bought that one at barnes and noble and we saw it there for like two and so definitely if you have an ollie's get it from there i don't know if we'd necessarily go back constantly yeah. maybe once in a while we can go check i did find the turn of the key for 2.99 i have been waiting for book outlet to put this back in stock this girl stumbles across an ad she's looking for something else completely it seems like too good of an opportunity to miss it's a live-in nannying post with a generous salary so she's already looking at this like mm, yeah that's kind of weird but all right this house is like super luxurious it's like a smart home. It's kind of reminded me of, do you remember that movie when we smart were kids? House. Smart House? Yeah. That movie scared me, but it was so good. <laughs> but what she doesn't know is that she's stepping into a nightmare. I mean, it sounds pretty good. It has good reviews on Goodreads. The first one I found there is Whisper Network by Chandler Baker. This is one that I've seen. I don't know if it's on Book of the Month or if I've just seen it a lot on Bookstagram, but I have been seeing it everywhere. It is part of Reese's Book Club. And we love Reese. <laughs> we love Reese. It was $3.99. It says on the back, a delicious and timely thriller. It's about a group of women who have worked together for years. Basically, their boss is in line to become the CEO, and each one of these women have had encounters with this man that are not the best, and they finally reach their breaking point, and they're like, enough is enough. I don't know if they're gonna expose him, but it just says, lies will be uncovered, secrets will be exposed, whispers carry only so far, and at this time, her and her friends aren't gonna stay quiet. I haven't seen this one around, so I am excited for it. All these books were, like, in perfect condition. Yeah. Can we just appreciate this cover right now because this is so beautiful it's the main reason why i picked it up it's called once upon a river 3.99 and as soon as i opened it it says three girls missing one is returned a story begins a stranger walks in and in his arms is a body of a small child this small child is dead something happens and she comes back to life but she <laughs> can't she can't talk she can't say who she is or where she came from we had to move because we were in the middle of the street but <laughs> basically this sounds 
like a trip. This little girl was dead and then she came back to life and she can't talk to anybody. So I guess we're gonna figure out what happened. The second one I found is Permanent Record. And I know this is the same author that did Emergency Contact. I did try to read that book. I did not give it a fair enough chance. So I do want to restart it. I have heard good things about the author. So I do want to try this book out as well. The dust jacket is translucent, like it's plastic. The cover is beautiful. I thought that was super unique. I've never seen a dust jacket like this one. On paper, he's a college dropout. He doesn't have a lot going for him. He works at a 24 hour deli in Brooklyn and it's a struggle. Lena has enough social media followers to populate the whole continent. She graduated from child stardom to become an international icon and her adult life is a queasy blur of private plans. So basically these two completely opposite people meet. He's very quiet and doesn't have a lot going for him. She's very established and has this career for herself. I love stories like that when you have two main characters who are completely opposite and they end up coming together, bonding and getting into this relationship. I am really, really just in love with this cover. Even without the dust jacket, it's beautiful. I'm ready to read it. It was only $2.99 and this is one I've never actually seen in person. So I'm glad that I own it now. I found Never Tell by Lisa Gardner. I do have a few of her books already. I haven't read any of them yet. <laughs> I looked this up on Goodreads and it almost has five star reviews, which oh, wow. is really crazy. $4.99. This one was a little bit more pricey. A pregnant wife stands over her husband's dead body, smoking gun in hand. She claims she didn't kill him, but homicide detective Dee Dee Warren recognizes her immediately. Her name is Evie Carter, investigated years before in the shooting death of her own father. How many accidents can one woman have? What truly goes on behind closed doors you can never tell. Would you believe me if I swore I just wanted to protect my baby? Ooh, another mystery thriller to add to the ones that I haven't read yet. <laughs> that one does sound good. I want to read a Lisa Gardner book. Yeah, I think too. I might own one. You probably do. The last thing I got is not a novel, but I had to get it when I saw it. It's this Audrey Hepburn little book. It says it includes six free, 10 by eight prints. So when you open it up, like you have the prints on the right side and then you have this little booklet on the side. Aww. It says this publication celebrates her film career, personal life, and her impact on fashion today as a true style icon and Hollywood legend. I'm obsessed with Audrey Hepburn and her movies. So I'm excited to give this a read. This is also just like a great coffee table book. I couldn't pass it up. It was $2.99. I've never seen anything like this at a discount store so I wanted to pick it up. It does come with free prints that I will be putting up in my room. Overall I do think it was a successful trip. I'm sure there are other book thrifting places around us we just don't know where. We will ask again if you have any favorite thrifting spots especially for books let us know in the comments. One of you guys told us about libraries that do book sale. We had no idea they even did that. Yeah and we loved that one. Uh -huh. So you guys have great suggestions. Give us more. Already it's the end of the month. We have to get reading right now because we have a wrap up next week. Let us know if you have read any of these books. They're kind of different. You don't really see right. these often. We're determined to be more active on our other social media. So go follow us on Instagram or friend us on Goodreads. We always have the links in the description. As always, thank you for watching. We do put out new videos every Wednesday and Friday. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe and we will see you next time. I guess we're just going to take you guys along with us and see what's going down. <laughs> ones that we either are oh, there were a couple ones we either already had guys <laughs> it's actually a child and this child was sorry i just wanted to lock the door save up 70 to 70 percent every Not a day. whole ad about always in here i know please sponsor us